Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So I have my Christmas decor finally up. I was cleaning this morning and I still had like my skull, snow globe, and I was like, I need to just go get my Christmas decorations, be a little festive. So here we are with my Christmas tree, my water bottle, <laughs> and then my other Christmas trees and my little stuff behind there. So finally we are like in the Christmas spirit on this channel. We have my Christmas stuff behind me. This is my favorite. Thing ever to put up on my channel every single year. I love displaying this little wooden piece. It's so cute. This video is going to be random household and lifestyle favorites, if that makes sense. So obviously this is a beauty channel. I'm always talking about my favorite beauty products and sharing beauty products with you guys. But over the last few weeks, there have been some items, I wouldn't really call them products, they're more items that I've been using in my everyday life and around my house and stuff that I really, really wanted to share with you guys. So that's what today's video is going to be. If you guys are interested, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into this video. So first, I want to start with what I'm currently wearing because I have the jacket and then I have the matching pants, which are right here. So this is from Skims. This is Kim Kardashian's little like, I want to, I always want to call it lingerie, but it's not lingerie. It's more like loungewear and undergarments and that type of thing. This is from her cozy collection. So I did get this set last year for Christmas and recently I have been wearing the pants non-stop. I don't really wear the jacket too much around my house because it's too, um, not that it's not comfortable because it's super comfortable, but I feel like this jacket I'd rather wear out of the house. So I just kind of wear like my robe or like a sweatshirt in the house and this I'll wear more like if I'm going out. The pants I never ever wear out because they're just, <laughs> they're really kind of big on me and they're more to me in my opinion, something that I would wear inside my house. But the reason I'm talking about them is because Recently in New York, the weather has been up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Like you don't know if it's going to be 70 degrees one day or 30 degrees one day. So on those days where it is randomly like 30, 40 degrees, I'm freezing. This year, for whatever reason, I have been so cold. I am dreading just thinking about like 20 degrees and like 10 degrees when it gets like super, super cold here. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm suffering currently in the 30 degree weather, 40 degree weather when the 20 degree weather comes. You may not find me. You may find me on a beach somewhere by myself off the grid because I don't know what I'm going to do when that happens, okay? But these have been an absolute lifesaver. I wore these so much around my house that, like, I took them off one day and there was just dog hair, like, stuck all on the bottom because these are huge on me. These are a size, um, extra, extra, this is the smallest size. This is XXS, oh, what? This is double extra small and then extra small. So this is, like, the smallest it gets, and these are freaking huge on me. I think she may do triple extra small. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not sure. But anyways, they're huge on me. But I love them because they keep me so freaking warm during those colder nights. Oh my God, I literally, the second I come home from work and it's freezing outside, I take off all my work clothes and I throw those on and I'm in them till like the next day. Like it's just, they're so comfortable. They're literally called the Cozy Collection for a reason. And they keep you so, so, so warm. I have the joggers. So mine are more like cinched at the bottom. Mine aren't like the flared ones. I do want the flared ones. Um, I do want to give you guys one tip though. If you are going to buy these and you have pets like me, do not buy black. When I picked out this color, I did not currently have my dog. I got my dog about three days after Christmas and I had this and I was like, all right, well, there's just going to be dog hair all over the place on these, but definitely get these in like the gray or like maybe even the pink. I wouldn't recommend white because I feel like white would get really, really dirty. Um, I think the gray or the brown, I definitely want the gray one next. I want the gray robe. So if any of my family members or friends are watching this, I want the cozy collection gray robe for Christmas. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so I 10 out of 10 recommend this. This is such a good set. Like I said, I don't wear my pants outside of my house just because they're so baggy. They kind of like look ridiculous, but they're just so cozy. And for those nights in when you're freezing, you just want to be comfy, cozy. This set is life saving. It's super, super soft. And I wash mine. It says that you're not supposed to, but literally it feels the exact same as it did like on the day that I like wore it for the first time. So I definitely recommend washing it. I wash mine in cold water and dry it on low. So definitely don't wash it in hot water and dry it on high. On, on high. You may ruin it, but dry it, dry it on low and wash it in cold water. Wow. Anyways, yeah, 10 out of 10, I recommend this cozy collection for the winter months. I feel like it's going to be a brutal winter. So if you are somewhere where it gets really cold, like New York or any other state, 
check out the Cozy Collection, you will not be disappointed. So sticking with Cozy, I'm going to migrate over to Scents. So this time of year is my favorite at Bath & Body Works. Between the fall and the winter, I love all of their just holiday scents that they come out between their pumpkin scents and then their winter scents. Like I obsess over all of them. So I wanted to talk about their three wick candles because these are my favorite candles of life. Like I buy TJ Maxx candles, I buy Yankee candles, and nothing ever compares to the three wick candles from Bath & Body Works. So if you have never tried these, which I'm sure you guys have, but if you haven't, make sure that you check them out. And I have one currently burning downstairs. I don't know the scent. I think it's mahogany balsam actually. It's like a little mixture of like a Christmas tree with a manly cologne and it's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. This one happens to be my favorite this time of year. This is Winter Candy Apple. Oh my God, it's so sweet, but not sweet, but it's literally like my favorite candle. This one and Pumpkin Cupcake are two of my, oh, and then Flannel. Pumpkin Cupcake, Winter Candy Apple, Flannel, and then... There's a few other ones, but those three are the ones that stand out the most to me are my favorite to purchase this time of year. I love them. I love giving those scents as gifts because those three are my freaking favorite. I obsess over them. If you guys wanted to make your house smell super cozy this year, definitely pick up Bath & Body Works through Wick Candles. They just bring such a beautiful, just like cozy feeling to your house. There's something about a candle like burning in your house. It just makes it so like homey and just smells so good. Like, oh, I love when my house smells good. It's my favorite that I'm so into scents. In case you guys miss it with all my perfume videos that I do on this channel, but I'm so into scents, including scents in my home. Like I love my home to smell super cozy and just super fresh and clean. So I 10 out of 10 recommend the Bath Body Works 3 Wick Candles. They are so good. Definitely check out Winter Candy Apple if you have never tried it. Check it out. And leave me any of your 3 Wick Candle recommendations down below. I love to know what people's like favorite scents are from Bath & Body Works. Oh my god. So sticking with Bath & Body Works, I want to talk about their room sprays. So I don't really know how to pronounce this one in particular, but this one I want to talk about because this one is my favorite one. This conquers any type of scent, anything that's going on in your house and you just want to like you're cleaning and then you want to like make sure the scent goes away. This is, this has your back, trust me. This is Gingham. I believe that's how you pronounce it. G-I-N-G-H-A-M. That's how it's spelled. So I'm thinking it's Gingham, but who knows? But this is what the room spray looks like. This smell, you guys, it's so good. I literally don't even know what this smells like. Are the notes on here? No. Spray is so good. Oh my god, some of them can be really, really strong. So I have mahogany teak wood up here, like in my hallway, and I spray that from time to time, and it is so strong. Like it's kind of like over, it's really overwhelming. I'm not somebody that's sensitive to scents, so it takes a really, really strong scent to really like bug out my nose and make me be like, oh, like okay, like that's a little too much. And mahogany teak wood room spray is way too much. Like it's way too strong. Like you need one spray, and your entire house is gonna smell like it. I don't care if you have a one story house, three story house, if you spray that bitch upstairs, you'll smell it downstairs. Trust and believe. But this one is my favorite. I spray it every single morning, every single night. I do have a dog. So you, if you guys are dog owners, you know that from time to time your house can smell like dog and smell like pee and whatever the case is. And when that happens, I take out my handy dandy room spray after I clean up any mess or anything that my dog has done. I will spray the area with this and it just gets rid of any odors and just makes your entire house just smell overall amazing. So I highly, highly recommend this. Sticking with this scent, I do love their wallflowers too. So I do have like three of these as backups. I have one currently in my bathroom. I have one uh, downstairs in my kitchen. And then I think I have another backup. I'm not exactly sure, but I do know that I bought like three or four of these at once. This scent is so, so, so good. And I love the wallflowers because not only are they little night lights, so like I have one in my bathroom. So if I get up in the middle of the night, there's a light and I'm not like walking in the complete dark, but they just make your bathroom or any area that you put them smell so, so, so good. I love it just because like when you're not constantly cleaning, you know that somebody is going to have your back. You know that somebody is going to be making your house smell good or your room smell good, whatever the case is. These are so good because they're constantly, they're constantly on. They're constantly going to be like making your room smell good. So I highly, highly recommend these. Um, any scent, honestly, but this one in particular is my favorite for my rooms and stuff. So I love this scent. So, much. so sticking with being clean, these two items go hand in hand with each other. I actually bought these because of TikTok. I've seen them all over Amazon and Target and stuff, and I would never like really thought about it. And then I saw on TikTok what they do, and I was like, hold up. I need to try it. So this is the Scrub Daddy and Scrub Mommy Power Paste 
powerful natural cleanser. This is the paste. And then I have the scrub mommy. I have the one that's like the dual side. So I have the sponge side and then I have like the more rough side. You guys, you guys, if you're going to buy one thing that I talk about in this video, let it be this. Please let it be this. You guys don't understand the power of this paste. That's why it's called power paste because it is powerful. Cleaned my stove. Like, listen, I live with a man, okay? And he's messy when he cooks. And when he cooks, like any other man, he does not clean up after himself all the time. There's like 90% of the time where he doesn't clean up after himself and then like 10% where like he will. 90% of the time he's not. So soap, not soap, sauce and chicken juice and stuff just kind of like gets caked into my stove. So I had Brillo, I tried Mr. Clean Magic Erasers and nothing would work. And then when I finally purchased this, this worked. I was so shocked at how easy it was. It didn't make it perfect, but it was 10 out of 10, way better than what I was working with before. Like the Brillo and the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers were not doing anything that this does. And especially with my tub too. You know how tubs can get gunky. Like, I mean, come on guys, you're showering one to two times a day at least. And if there's two of you, like there is in my house, then that's four showers a day. If you wear makeup like me, you're washing your makeup off in your shower. It's staining the bottom of your shower. This combination cleaned everything. And look at how white the sponge is. You guys, this has seen some serious action, serious action. And look at how clean this still looks doesn't look like it's been through the ringer at all. And I'm pretty sure you can actually throw these into your dishwasher and clean them like they're dishwasher safe, I think. But if you're going to buy anything, buy this combination, this scrub paste or this power paste is the best thing to ever exist. It has a nice scent. Like it doesn't smell like bleach or Lysol or Windex or anything like that. It smells like a cleaning product, but not like an overly powerful cleaning product, if that makes sense. So I 10 out of 10 recommend this. It's so good. It's honestly one of my favorite purchases of 2021 because it has saved my tub, my sinks, my stove. It is so good. I love it so much. This next item has been an absolute game changer to me and life changer to me. So for a few reasons. So first things first, if you guys don't follow me, then you don't know. But if you do follow me, then you do know. I was sick for a few weeks, like in my last like three, four videos, I was sick. You can hear it in my voice. So I wasn't sleeping in the same room as my boyfriend because with my boyfriend's job, he really can't get sick. So I was sleeping in my guest room. So while I was sleeping in here, I had this. Thank God. This is the new um, iPad mini. This is the sixth generation. I believe I got mine in purple and I recently purchased this probably like a little over a month ago and it has been the best purchase I have made I've, I'm saying that a lot in this video, but this, I'm so happy that I purchased it because it has just changed everything. When I was in here and I was sick and I was just so sick that I literally couldn't even get out of bed, I was just in here watching Netflix, watching Hulu. This was my TV because there's not a TV in here, so this became my TV and I love it. I love it for FaceTiming. I love it for editing my thumbnails. That was the main reason why I bought it was to edit my thumbnails on here and I did as well purchase the pencil, which I love. I'm obsessed with the pencil. I'm obsessed with how it's how I'm able to write on my thumbnails and edit my thumbnails. Like I love it and I love that it just sticks right to my iPad and I'll never ever lose it because it just magnetizes right to it. But if you guys were going back and forth about getting an iPad or anything, I used to be so anti-iPad. I used to be like, why would anybody ever have an iPad? Like it's so dumb. You have your phone, if you have a computer, like you don't need an iPad. Now I'm somebody that is like, no, 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 no. You, like, you need an iPad, especially the mini. I like the mini because I don't like the big iPads. If I want something that's going to be that size, I'm going to use my laptop. Why am I going to have something like that? You know what I mean? So this is just so compact for me. And I also got it because when I travel, I want to be able to have movies and download movies and stuff like that. So that is why I got this. I got mine in the 256 gig. So I definitely recommend getting the 256. Do not get the 64. I made the mistake and got the 64 and then I was almost out of storage. So I got the 256 instead and I love it. And this case, by the way, is from Amazon and it was $9. And it's pretty much the exact same thing that I would have got at the Apple store. The one at the Apple store was like $60. It was probably like 50 or $60. Hello, like it's Apple. But this, I actually wanted this one because it matches the iPad and the one that they sold at the Apple store was like a plum color. So it didn't really match my iPad. But yeah, so I love it. I am so obsessed with it. I love that they brought in the square um, style to it. It's just like the phone. So they're both square. I love that. I didn't really like the rounded 
version of the iPad, but you guys, this has become my like my lifeline. I bring it with me every single day to work. I sit on my break with my iPad and I watch whatever the hell I want to watch. I use it for FaceTime and I use it I use it for editing and it has just become something that I'm like, yes, like I cannot live without this. I love this thing. I'm so happy that I bought it. So if you wanted to get an iPad for somebody in your life for Christmas or you wanted to get one for yourself, definitely check out the new iPad mini. It is so good. I don't know why I was so ever anti-iPad before because I'm obsessed with this. So this last item is a book recommendation. So about two months ago, I was feeling like really like lost and just kind of like, what am I doing? Like I just felt like I wasn't good enough to be like in this industry, I guess if you would call it. I don't really know, but I just felt like I wasn't good enough to be doing what I wanted to do, which is like making videos and talking about makeup and stuff. And I was just like, I don't, com I don't compare it to anybody else on the internet. Like people on the internet, they're gorgeous, they're so talented, and I was just really like down, like in the dumps on myself, and it was just like a few weeks where I was just feeling just kind of like low. And I asked my friend at work, I was like, what books do you recommend for like manifestation or just like encouragement and stuff like that? And he recommended this book. This is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. You guys, I can't sit here and say this book has changed my life, but it, it kind of has. Like it's very old fashioned, like I think this is from like the 30s or like the 1800s. I'm not exactly sure when this version was written. Was written. I know that there's a few different versions, um, but I'm pretty sure this was written, oh, originally published in 1937. Yeah, so it's from the 30s, but it talks about so many different stories and so many different just things that like people went through back in the day and things that people overcame and just pretty much explaining to you that it's not ever that you can't do anything. It's just kind of like your mind like tricking you into thinking that you can't do anything. And that is exactly what my mind was doing to me. It was torturing me and I just felt really like, I wasn't depressed. Like I don't use that word very lightly. So I don't think that it was depression. It definitely wasn't depression. It was more just like being down in the dumps and just really just feeling like there was no purpose like as to what I was doing. Like I was just like, maybe I should just give up and just do what everybody else does and just work my whatever, my job and move up and do whatever. But I was like, no, like I have way more of a passion than I'll ever have for that. So I really need to like dive into it and just really get out of my own head. And this book definitely helps me with that. So I highly, highly recommend this book. Like every morning that I'm off, I'm like, I have time to read. I get so excited to read this book because I'm just so anxious to know like other stories that are in here and things that people have gone through and struggles and stuff. And this book, some of the things that I've read so far, I'm like, oh my God, it is very, very old fashioned. So if you're more modern, you may not like this book, but you guys, I love my love it. My manager saw me reading it and he was like, oh my God, I love that book. It's such a great book. It's like a life changing book. And I was like, all right, like I am so excited for this book. I love it. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is if you guys are struggling with anything in your life and you're just feeling down and you're just feeling like whatever you're doing, like it's not working, definitely do not give up. Pick up this book, order on Amazon and just get out of your own head. That's pretty much my best advice to you guys because especially in the beauty community, everybody is just so beautiful and so perfect at what they do that it's really easy just to get in your own head and feel like you don't belong here. Have you guys ever heard of like imposter syndrome? That was kind of like what I was struggling with. I was like, who do I think I am? Like trying to make it in the beauty community. But then I started reading this book and it honestly changed my whole perspective. And honestly, I'm going to do what I love no matter what anybody tells me. I don't really care what anybody says at this point anymore. I'm just going to do whatever makes me happy and that's it. Guys, so that completes this video. Anything that I can find on Amazon, I will link down below for you guys. So if you guys were interested in purchasing anything, you guys will have the links right down below. And yeah, so as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and to subscribe and I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video. Bye!